I've had the Technospark 7P for over 30 days and in this video, I'm going to tell you all the things that I found while using this phone. Straight up, this is one of the cheapest phones with a 90Hz refresh rate panel. We have the MediaTek Helio G70 processor powering this device. It comes with 4GB RAM and 64GB or 128GB of storage. Left to me, this is one of the most powerful Spark series devices ever released by Techno. We have a 60MP main camera here and it's quite ok. This unit was provided by Lambertair.com and if you are interested in buying, I will leave links in the description. They also accept pay on delivery to every state in Nigeria. With that out of the way, let's get started with the design and build quality of the Techno Spark 7P. The design of the Techno Spark 7P is stellar. The color I have with me here is the Magnet Black and other color options include Summer Moji 2, Spruce Green and Alps Blue. The phone is made of plastic and we have a triple AI camera and a fingerprint scanner at the back. We also have a Techno Spark branding that gives the device an identity if you grab a hold of it. The back has a textured finish and it doesn't pick up fingerprint stains and smudges easily. There is a silicone TPU case inside the box in case you want more grip. The power button and the volume rockers are on the right side and they are easily accessible. At the bottom, we have a micro USB port, a headphone jack and a speaker grill. Up top, we have another microphone. On the left hand side, we have a SIM card and SD card holder. The phone has a 6.8 inch display that we will explore in a bit. We have the dated water drop notch style display that houses an 8 megapixel selfie camera. The phone feels a bit too big for my hand and is not suitable for one hand usage. I love the design at the back because it's kind of unique but the notch at the front makes the device look dated. We have a 6.8 inch IPS LCD display on the Techno Spark 7P and it also comes with a 720p resolution. The device has a 90Hz refresh rate and it makes scrolling smoother and faster. We have to appreciate the fact that Techno is giving us a high refresh rate at this price point. I wish the resolution was 1080p, at least it would have been better. Scrolling through apps here is pleasant especially because of the high refresh rate. Watching content, gaming and browsing the web with the display is also great. The bezels around the display are noticeable but it doesn't have much effect during usage. The display is vibrant and contrast even though it's an IPS LCD. Under direct sunlight, it is usable but you have to increase the brightness. You are going to enjoy the display panel and for the price it's selling at, it shouldn't be a thing of concern in my opinion. The Techno Spark 7P runs on Android 11 and iOS 7.6. There have been some minimal design tweaks with this new interface and I must say it feels a bit better. One of my favorite new features is Peak Proof, where you can stop others close to you from viewing your display. There is also a swipe panel by the side where you can quickly access some of your favorite apps. The phone comes packed with all the latest Android 11 features but software update is not guaranteed on this phone. I really want Techno to look into this aspect. However, the device came with some bloatware and it's usual with any phone running on hardware skin. Some of the bloats can be removed or disabled. The notification panel has some changes too and when you pull it down you can enable the peak proof and other new features. I hope with the next software iteration we can see a massive cut down on bloatware by Techno. The Spark 7P is powered by the Helio G70 by MediaTek and the Mali G52 is the GPU. The unit here comes with 4 gigs RAM and 128 gigs of storage. That's the highest configuration. Running everyday tasks like social media and calls is ok and there won't be any issues. The high refresh rate seems to make using the phone even better. I use this extensively to switch between Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Chrome. Multitasking was swift and most of the time there were no app crashes in the background. For gaming, it's quite decent but there are little bit lags here and there while playing graphics demanding games like COD Mobile and PUBG. The refresh rate makes playing these games even better. It handles games like Subway Surfer and Candy Crush even better. I'm really impressed with the performance here and I didn't expect the chipset that was used here. We are used to seeing the Helio A25 and P25 on this type of phones by Techno. We have a 60 megapixel primary camera here and others include a 2 megapixel depth sensor and a gimmicky AI camera. There is a quad LED flashlight next to the camera. There is also another dual LED flashlight at the front. The pictures you get with the rear cameras are decent when you have a ton of light. You also get a lot of features to explore in the camera app. The selfie camera is an 8 megapixel camera and it gives some decent pictures as well. The phone shoots 720p, 1080p and 2K at 30 frames per second. The front facing camera also shoots videos at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Here are more pictures. The 
Spark 7P has a 5000mAh battery and it can last a whole day even when you turn on the 90Hz refresh rate. It comes with an 18 watt fast charger that powers the phone from 0 to 100 in almost 2 hours. Battery life is amazing here and no matter how you handle the device, it will last a whole day. If you made it this far in the video, then a sub to the channel will be heartwarming. The Spark 7P is a decent phone for people under a tight budget. For the price of 60,000 Naira, it is one of the devices I would recommend. It has a decent chipset and battery life, while the 90Hz refresh rate is the icing on the cake. I wish Techno would continue in this part with their Spark series, because what we have here is far from the norm. If this was useful in any way, make sure you hit the like button and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one.